Sí. Tengo ahí dos bolsas también de pescado de camarones muertos. Mira ahí las males. Ahí tienen las males, son grandes. Oh, no son, yeah. oh, no, no son males, no. Small mangrove. Okay, it's for when you move it. It's a well. I see. Small snapper. Let me see how big. <coughs> Let's see how big this is. a little bit over 11. No. Tiene un tiene un hook. Oye, from somebody. Ando, coming in. Sí. Yeah. con el jig este ahora te digo pero ajá Ah, I lost it. Oh no, cut my line. Cut your line? Yeah. Cut my line or... No, it came off. Let's see if I catch another one bigger. 
Come on, fish, come on. Just using half a shrimp and a jig head. Just half a shrimp. Yeah. You get him bite, but think they're small fish. Come on, I had a big one. I think good size. Great day uh, of fishing at ponds, but I have two mango snappers. This one is 11 and a half inches, it's 14. Then my friend John and Eddie, they caught the, uh, the look down at the moonfish. Um, and uh, they decided to give it to me, so I brought them home and I'm gonna cook them for you. So I'm back here, I'm gonna show you what I did. I uh, cleaned the fish. I mean, remember this fish has no scales. Um, they have no scales at all. All I did is just remove the guts. Um, and I try to remove the uh, bloodline and the gills, of course. I did the same with all three. <clears throat> try to make them clean. Right, so this is what I do. <clears throat> Take a sharp knife. This is what I have, this is what I use. So I just cut lines through them. I do it on both sides. And I'm gonna do them with the other two. All right, this is what I did with the fish now, the moonfish. Like I told you, there's no scales. Um, no scales. I just made some lines with the knife. Uh, all three of them on both their products. This has collateral and I showed it, which is like a, uh, a color uh, to whatever type of food you're cooking. It just gives a color, red color, orange, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this right here I also use it's called adobo. It has all kinds of ingredients in there. Garlic, salt, oregano, black pepper, turmeric. So, <clears throat> so everything you want, it's here. And this will give it a lot of flavor. And that's what I'm gonna use. And when I use it, I'm, you gotta make sure that you put some between the lines. So that way you can get a lot of flavor in it. Uh, also in the inside. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm done seasoning the fish, so 
Now I'm going to show you what they look like. Uh, this is what they look like. I was telling you the uh, the uh, one of the uh, seasoning in the packet. This is what it looks like. Uh, it gives it some color, and then I put the other seasoning on top. That gives it a lot of flavor. All right, so I'm back now. I'm going to show you what the fish looks like after it was pan fried. Um, this is what it looks like. Is uh, we're going to eat it with rice and and corn, or I mean, you can eat it with whatever you want. But this is what it looks like. It's very crispy. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the tail. Very flavorful, crispy. I hope you like it. If you like the way this pan fried look down monfish looks, um, give it a try. If you if you if you have never tried it, try it. You're gonna like it. Trust me. Uh, you can add some lemon if you want. Um, if you like the recipe, if you like the fish, um, if you like the video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you. See you in the next video.